she go like you. You just they look who oh, no they look you. Eddie. 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 Ah, where has he gone to this night? Eddie Sin. Eh, look at this one. I was wondering where you went to. Where did you go to? I went to buy food, though. I went to buy food. But the woman doesn't have swallow. Ordinary bread. Ordinary bread, I didn't see. I'm so hungry right now. Look at your mouth. You went to buy food. I already told you that I was preparing food. And I was going to get some for you. So why were you stressing yourself? Hey, fried rice for you. Hey, thank you very much. Let me quickly turn it there. Eh? I turn it quickly. Eddie, Eddie, I am not happy at all. We need to sit down so you can explain to me the plans you have for me. Because what is happening in that house is too much. It's more than what I can handle. Please. Calm down. Let me just turn. Eh? I'm coming. Please, oh, come and explain to me. You know you are my advisor. Shout out to Jennifer, everybody. Eddie! Be fast now. Eddie! Be fast now. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. What's uh -huh. Uh -huh. Concerning that issue, eh? See, I've spoken with the prophetess that will be praying for you. Uh -huh. She has agreed, though. Does her prayer work? Very well. Her prayer is yes and amen. Thank you. Yes and amen. But it will cost you a little money. Just a small amount of money. Eddie. Which one is money again? You know I don't have. Where will I get money from? Hey! Are you not a woman? And so, if I'm a woman, uh -huh. what happens? I thought you were smart, though. I thought you were smart. See, that man, Ogabob, he likes you a lot. Mm. Go to him, give him what he wants, and he will give you the, uh, any amount of money that you need in this world. Eddie! Ah! You're so rotten, no? Salome! Salome! Go, 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 talk to me, eh? And where are you coming from by this time of the night? Sorry, are you asking me? Who else is here except the both of us? Now listen, your salary is being paid by the company and through me. So how you work, what you do, it's my job. Except you want to start collecting your salary from my boss. Then he will ask you why I didn't get to pay you. And don't think I will spare you if you ask me. No, 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 Jennifer. It hasn't gotten to this now. We are not having issues. Eh? So now that we have an understanding, I want to go rest. But first, I want to take stocks for tomorrow. So what are we having for breakfast and what don't we have at home? We could have bread, tea and egg in the morning. Then, Eba, in the afternoon, probably we could do plantain porridge at night. Well, that's good. How much of the rice prepared this evening is remaining? Oh, it's finished. Wait, what? Are you trying to say the rice is finished? I didn't get to eat and my boss ate just three too. You and Angel ate a full pot of rice? And where are you coming from with that flax? No, the, uh, I didn't make much actually. Okay, this. <laughs> um, I actually gave Edison some to eat. He was very hungry, so I gave him food to eat. You gave Edison some? Well, I'll ask my boss. Let's know if now they're the ones feeding Edison. If that's part of the agreement. No, 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 please no, Jennifer, don't do that now, please. I actually gave him some food to eat because he helped me with some of my house chores. Now, Salome, listen. I am accountable for everything that goes down in this house. Because I am the one who gets to ask the boss for money. Just the things I have these days. Next time you want to appreciate everything for whatever he does for you, do that to your salary. Okay? Sorry, it will not happen again. Good. Yeah.
My boss asked me to present me in a meeting. So I'm trying to prepare my presentation. Otherwise, you'd have missed me. I'm sorry. I have a lot to do at the office. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. Here. That's for you. For me? Why, Jennifer? Come on. Wait a minute. Don't tell me this is because of what happened to your daddy. I just got them for you. And besides, I wouldn't want Sharon or anyone else buying you clothes. It would seem as if your uncle can't take care of you. Jennifer, I have told you it is nothing. Besides, the fact that she got me clothes doesn't mean I'm on her side. Just so you know. I wouldn't do that to you for all the clothes in this world. I know. I think. What is it? I just wanted to have it. It makes me happy. I'll make sure I rock my clothes well. That's my girl. I'm going to eat now. Yes. You know you told me that if I need help or advice as to how to survive around this environment, that I should always consult you. <laughs> yes, I did. But you never showed up. It's your wife. I'm scared of Madame. And also Edison. You know that one talks too much. So I'm trying to be careful. I know. But there's always a way out. For instance, I can send him on a run. Then you sneak in. <laughs> not a boy. Not a boy. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Yeah. But at this point, I need some money. Money? Yeah. That is not the problem. When you come to my house, we can discuss oh, that. Come on, baby. I need it now. Like now. Huh? That was good. <laughs> so how much? About 20,000 there only. Just 20. This is about 10,000 naira. You can hold on to this. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> I love the position. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me, when are you completing the money for me? That case that you gave me. Yes. If you can complete it now, mm -hmm. then when you come to my house, <laughs> I'll bring the balance Why when not? we are through. Okay? Ready? Uh, I'm all here. <laughs> Shut up! I hate you. 
killed. Every person in me. Able to collect half of the money from him. <laughs> see, <Ma. laughs> well, it's something now. Nah. It's something. Um, see, I will talk to that prophetess eh, so that she will start doing something. Mm -hmm. Yes. But thank God you came right on time. You needed to see the way the foolish man was pressing my whole body like he has never seen a woman. <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> oh, 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 oh my my. <laughs> oh my my. <laughs> well, well, I'm glad. I Right. Yes, yes. 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 Um, but how far now? Something now. I believe there should be something. Are you asking? Of course I kept your balance diet. Let me yes. oh, oh, stupid man. You want to see Oh my my. Oh my my. Oh, Jehovah. Amen. Jehovah. Amen. Jehovah. Amen. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Good morning, Lord. Good morning, daughter of God. Um, Salome, this is the woman of God, the prophetess whom I told you about. Nice to meet you, Ma. But please, if I may ask, which church do you represent? I want to correct an impression. I am not a prophetess. But I operate on a higher level as a prophetess. My father was a Muslim alpha. While my mother was a prophetess in a church. Both of them taught me what I know. So I am neither a Muslim nor a Christian. But a combination of both. Just call me Sister Grace. Sister Grace? <laughs> All right, Sister Grace. Um, I have a very big problem. The truth is that I love my ogre so much. And I want him to marry me. But there are so many women that want him. And at this point, I need an upper hand. That was why I asked him to send for you. Please help me. Michael, speak, speak. A daughter is listening. Mm. Amen. You don't have a problem. As I am talking with you now, I'm seeing you in the spiritual, wedding him in a court. Why court? I mean, why not in the church? I cannot say what I did not see. Um, Salome, marriage in the court, in the church, or even in the village, all is marriage. I want it in the church. church. There's a lot to do. And it will cost you money. 25,000 Naira. When I am done with your job, Another 10,000 Naira. But you can pay me whatever you have now. Day after tomorrow, I'll be back for the balance. Day after tomorrow, I hope this works. If it does, then consider yourself lucky. Because for the rest of my life, I will continue to pay homage to you. Anything you want, I'll give. Here. Did you hear that? This is the kind of sacrifice that provoked the spiritual. The realm of causative. Mm. It is done. Amen. Take this. This is honey. And honey is sweet. 
Just put a little in his food and say your wishes. And it is done. Day after tomorrow, I'll be back for my balance. That's all. It's done. It is done. Chai, thank you so much. It is done. Settled. I'll be back day after tomorrow for my balance. It's all right. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Daughter of God, you are blessed. Amen. 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 That's my guard gate. Please, you come and take the food later. Eh? Okay, let me leave. Yeah. Go inside, go inside. Mm -hmm. see you. Go inside. So what for lunch? Uh, rice. Well, the boss is not feeling too well. So get his meal ready. He needs to take his medication. Right. She'll soon be back, sir. Okay. Yeah. So are you okay? I'm okay. I'm not this me now. Not this me. And this one, every time she'll be following my boss. He won't give this man opportunity to notice me. Everybody wants to get this attention. No, no, no. Your strategy matters. Everybody wants to get this attention. No, no, no. Your strategy matters. Everybody wants to get this attention, no, no, no. Your strategy matters. Everybody wants to get this attention, no, no, no. Your strategy matters. Whether or not you go love him, I don't care. Whether or not you go marry him, I don't care. Everybody wants to get this attention, no, no, no. Your strategy matters. I am ready to give you my best. Okay, see. 
I ask but only one thing from you. Your love and your attention. You will love me, care for me, give me all the attention in this world. And above all, you will make me your wife. And we will live together for better, for worse. So shall it be. It's me. Sir, please, you need to eat something before you lie down. Remember what the doctor said? No, I'm alright, okay? Sir, you're not. Even if it's a little, just small, okay? I can actually bring it here for you. Jennifer, Jennifer. Oh, okay, don't worry. I'll, I'll go to the dining, okay? I'll meet you. Okay, sir. Now just eat a little so you can be strong, please. See, look, all I need is rest. I told you when I when I rest, I'll be fine. Huh? Don't worry, I'll be my own. Okay. food. You're not supposed to eat. This food is not for you. It's not for you. <laughs> Why? You're not supposed, supposed to touch this food. This, this food is for my ogre. It's not for you. This food is not for you. <laughs> my boss couldn't eat the food, so I tried to eat it. What's the problem in that? You're going to eat the food I prepared for my girl to get him to marry me, eh? What do I do now? Now half of the money I paid for the charm is gone. Eh, another issue now is the completion of the money, which I don't have, eh? Hey, do I ask for another money? Hey, that will be another cost, eh? Chai could help me. What do I do now? Oh! 
Eddie. Eddie, oh. Eddie. Who is that? Who are you looking for? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Ah, sir, it seems you did not recognize me anymore. I am a doctor. They are but again you help collect our money from um, Eddie. Oh yes. Now I remember. But you changed a little. <laughs> no, what I mean is you are looking more beautiful now. Thank you, sir. Uh, you step out just a little. Thank you, sir. I I traveled to Abuja to go and see my sister and I was there for a while. That was awesome. Abuja did you very well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I I came by, so I remembered what you did. I said it will look somehow if I come and I don't come and say thank you after what you did for me, sir. Hmm? You are really, really a nice man, sir. Thank you. Thanks for the compliment. Mm -hmm. And that is very thoughtful of you. Thank you. I must say also that you are a nice young lady. <laughs> okay, sir. Uh, Eddie is not around. So let me just be on my way, sir. Hmm? Hi. Uh, Akata. Just one minute. <laughs> Can't you see the weather is so hot? Let's go inside so that I can offer you a cup of cold water. Hey. <laughs> hey. Okay. Okay. To know whether she go like you, you just they look who no they look you. Now him be your walk or you no get shame. You no know your age oh. Wait him be your walk or organ not to look who no where they pass you. To know whether she go like you, you just they look who no they look you. Now him be your walk or you no get shame, you no know your age oh. Wait him be your walk or organ not to look who no where they pass you. To know whether she go like you, you no know they look you. Now him be your walk or you no get shame, you no know your age oh. Thank you, <laughs> you see, the truth is, I like you so much, but I don't like this kind of business you're doing for a young lady like you. Sir, I don't like it either, but I have to struggle to help my mother, my younger ones and myself. Okay, have you ever thought about opening up a small scale food selling business? That is if you know how to cook. Eh? <laughs> For a young lady like you, roaming the streets, selling abacha, it is not befitting of you at all. Eh? No learned man will want to marry you, or even have you around him. Eh? Sir, me, I'm even tired of trekking about. If it's to cook, ah, I know how to cook very, very well. But, you know, I don't have any money to start with. Okay, are you aware that it will not cost you more than 5,000 naira? To make jollof rice and soup, uh, then buy plates, uh, spoon and stove. Some people even cook with firewood. Oh yes. What you need to do now is sell off your abacha and then tell me how much you need to make it up. I am willing to assist you, um, but you have to promise me that you will be close to me and make me happy. <laughs> but sir, are you not married? Because I don't like having anything with married men. But you want a married man to do you a favor? Yes, now. Nah. Like give you money? Mm -hmm. If he wants to help, fine. But to have anything to do with them? No. Please let me come and be going before your wife will come and meet me. Oh, sit down. I was only testing you. <laughs> My wife left me a long time ago. But I have grown up children who want me to marry again. And that is why I like you. So if things work out between us, and then I'll bring you home as my wife. <laughs> ah, that's fine now. Yes. Do you know, eh? My mother told me that it is better to marry my children. Of course now. <laughs> May I write you? I've accepted you. Eh? I've accepted you. See, eh? If you want anything, as fast as you help me, I will be here to do anything for you. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Just one minute, tell me.
<laughs> now that you have accepted me, <laughs> that will be, will be close. Let's start being close now. <laughs> 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 Can I get a kiss? <laughs> 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 hey, God, keep you small. But you know, this one is not enough. <laughs> Just give me the big one. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? Hey, I got Bob, it's me, Salome. Uh, please go. I'm, I'll talk to you later. I don't have time now. I'm very busy. Please, eh, if you finish, kindly come to my house. I really want to see you. Mrs. Casey herself. Mrs. Casey, Mrs. Casey. No, 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 Eddie, please do not call me by that name again. Because thing has fallen apart. What happened? What's falling apart? It has now. The cookie has finally crumbled. What do you mean? Crumbled, crumbled. The honey. The honey the spiritual woman gave me to put in Oga Casey's food. Yes, yes. Got wasted. What happened? Because he ended up not eating his food. He abandoned it. It was Jennifer that finally ate the food. See, what do I do now? And I'm supposed to collect money from Oga Bob to return to the woman. I don't even know what to do anymore. My Oga was not even looking towards my direction. I went to his room this morning to knock. He did not open for me. I just feel so terrible. I don't know what to do. Oh, my, my. Oh, my, my. That, that shouldn't be a problem at all. As for the money, the spiritualist will know what to do about it. Eddie, you cannot be too sure. You know all these spiritual people. They get very, very violent when you don't meet up to their demand. You know. That one shouldn't be a problem. Calm down, nah. Calm down. Agatha. Didn't you see me here? Yeah. Of course I saw you. And you could not greet. Hmm. Eddie, did you greet me and I did not respond? Or will my greeting you help Nigeria? Yes. No, 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 wait, let me ask you. Will my greeting you make you a landlord instead of a gate man that you are? Oh my my. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine? See, Agatha. Agatha, that, that, that's by the way. That, that, that's by the way. Agatha. When did you come into this compound? And where are you coming from? If you were at your duty post, you would not be asking me that stupid question. Yay! Mm. Oh, I see. <laughs> you want to joke with me, Abby? You want to joke with me? See, let me warn you. Let me warn you. I don't want to see you inside this compound again. Mm. Because I will never, ever, ever open this gate for you. You lie. Did you hear? You lie. A day after tomorrow, I will come back here, eh? So wait for me. You hear me? Wait for me. 
And if you try any rubbish, yes. eh? if you try any rubbish, I will take off this gate, my uniform from you and send you back to wherever it is you came from. Useless man. Hey. Look at this Mbeke. Look at this Abasasela. Hey! This girl has grown wings. I know what is blowing her head up. I think she was inside Oga Bob's room while I was knocking. Are you serious? Yes! That was why Oga Bob refused to open the door for me. Mm. And I also saw her tree of Abacha outside there. Mm. But wait. Mm. Hey! <laughs> Let it not be what I'm thinking. Because if finally this girl gave her promo to Oga Bob, hey! <laughs> I am very very sure that Oga Bob will not look towards my direction again because I did not give it to him now and the balance of the money I'm supposed to collect the balance of the money that I have to return to the woman what do I do now? wait, I will go and meet him now well, Oga Bob will answer you, okay? He, just I go first pray. just go, 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 go go, he will answer you oh my my so this girl has grown wings look, 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 look at Agatha Agatha from nowhere Ordinary Abacha Sela, me, Edison, Agatha, I must deal with you. We shall see. Agatha, we shall see. Oh, my man. Hey, I'm glad you came around. Um, you said there afternoon. Something. Good afternoon. You said there's something you want to tell me. Yes. You see, Oga Bob, you know, you, you promised to complete that money for me. That was why I sent for you. So I didn't want to come to your house because of your wife. Salome, it is a person with a corn in his hand that attracts foul to himself. I have money and advice as to buy Casey's hat. But what do I stand to get in return? Have I not given enough to express something in return? You have. In fact, you have done more than enough. Eh? That is why I've given all my daughterly love to you. And I expect you to do the same. And you know I have nothing to give. If I do, I would have given. How can you say you have nothing to give with those assets at your back and your chest? By the way, you are not my daughter. And who said that you have nothing to give? I know your game. That is why I've been thinking. How come each time I am with you, that hopeless get man appears? So I have concluded that both of you have some kind of conspiracy to disrupt and interrupt the happy moments we share. So I have given up my desire to be with you or help you out. No, Gabob, don't say that to me. Please, oh Gabob, now, please, you cannot do this to me now. Don't throw me away like this, please. I'm sorry. It's a coincidence. It happened, you know. It happens. Salome, listen very well. People who always want to get without thinking of what to give will remain beggars. Life is about giving and taking. When you want to get without thinking of what to give, you have failed the primary law of life. Life is good for those who understand it. Anyway, I think I have made my point. You may go to that hopeless gate man. Let him help you. Please, eh? Oh, Gabo, please don't talk to me like that, eh? I've given you my daughterly love. I've given you the right to be my father. Is that not enough? Oh, Gabo, please now. Please don't be a... I've given my, my, my love to you. Isn't that enough? Everybody wants to get his attention, oh no no Your strategy matters Everybody wants to get his attention, oh no no Your strategy matters Everybody wants to get his attention, oh no no Your strategy matters Where the hell is this Jennifer girl? She is not in her room Has she started sleeping in Oga's room? No That will never happen that is going ahead of me. And I will not allow that. No, I will not. If she starts sleeping in a girl's room, that's the end of it. It means everything is all over. 
The next thing now is pregnancy. Ah, I shouldn't allow that to happen. Not at all. Whoa, whoa. Everybody wants to get this attention. No, no, no. Your strategy matters. attention no 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 your strategy matters everybody wants to get this attention no 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 your strategy matters everybody wants to get this attention no 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 your strategy matters whether or not you go love him i don't care whether or not you go marry him i don't care everybody wants to get this attention no 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 your strategy what's your week Do you need something? Jennifer. Uh -huh. What are you doing here? Why are you not sleeping? So you're running temperature, I have to stay back to take care of you. By dabbing cold water on your head, so you temperature will come down a bit. Oh come on, you don't bother yourself now, eh? I told you I was alright. I'm fine, okay? Uh go to your room. But I can just stay here, don't worry. Jennifer, go to your room. Go and sleep, okay? food so I felt he his his sickness increased that's why I came to check up on him. Salome is fine eh? Oh yeah let's go. He's okay Salome why did you go to do in the bus's room? What else? I went to check on him to know how he's faring. Oh, good. Next time, don't go to the bus room without clearing it with me. I am the secretary and anybody who wants to see the bus should go through me. Don't ever go to the room again. I thought that's supposed to be in the office, not at home. That also includes the house. <laughs> it's alright. Good night. Excuse me. Um, I need your help. With what? I need money urgently. I wanted to see if boss can give me an upfront of my salary. I would really appreciate it. Oh, so that's why you went to the boss's room? Because it's very urgent and I need money. I need money. Well, put it in writing. I will bless you to that. Then I'll talk to the boss. I should put it in right. Because I need money urgently now. I have to put it in right. Because you are Jennifer. <laughs> Salome, you are so fat. You are so fat though. Madam Sharon, Sharon. <laughs> no, she's no, she just asking me to pray. <laughs> hey, Madam Sharon. Hey, I salute. No prayer. I know I have not prayed. Hey. Hey. Amen. 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 Salute, hey. salute. Salo, salo, 
the future Mrs. Casey herself. It has been confirmed even in heaven that the new and the future Mrs. Casey. Salut, salut. Um, prophetess, hmm? please tell her what you just told me. It is done. Amen. 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 It has been confirmed. But before I go any further, let me have my balance. Here is the money. Prophetess, what was the message, please? of what is going on in the house isn't it yes so i am as a matter of fact i feel hopeless right now because jennifer the secretary has taken over my organ in fact she practically controls him daughter of god don't be bothered. Uh -huh. ah! <sighs> your victory is sure. The last hurdle for your victory is for you to go on three days and three nights fasting and prayer. After that, your God will call you and get married to you. Amen. 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 Ah. Ah. Emmanuel. Mm. I'll be back in two weeks for your testimony. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I celebrate with you. Amen. Thank you so much, Prophetess. You are blessed. Amen. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. 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 You are blessed. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen, Prophetess. Amen. Go, 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 go. It is settled. woman of God, what time I should start praying, whether today or tomorrow, and even my prayer points. Wait a minute, what seems to be the problem between the two of you? Ask her. Prophetess, what's the problem? Ask him. Ah, which one is ask her and ask him? Tell me what the problem is now. I don't like what you're doing, no. Don't you know that she's the one of God? Why would you be talking to her like that? Don't you have respect for God? Woman of God, which one of God? See, I, I will scatter everything, no. I will tell them, no. I will talk, no. I will talk, no. I will tell everyone. So this is what you guys are doing to me. Edison, and you, this one of Give me my money. Yes. Give me my money. Give me my money. She's the one. Where's my money? Ho ha. Ho ha. Give me my ho ha. Yes. Where's my money? She's the one that. And not listen to me. All of you. And Lily. Becca. Move back. Move to my back. Move 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 back. Move
Jesus, you're not ashamed of yourself. Eh? A woman like you. I can't believe this. Duping people in the name of God. No. Oh. What kind of conscience do people have these days? You can imagine that. And why can't God kill those who deceive people in his name? Sister Grace. Now, I want you to bring out that. 10,000 she gave you earlier. Bring it out. Immediately. Yeah. So I don't have the money here with me. Besides, I, 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 shared, I shared it with her this eh? eh? Don't even try uh, it. The 10,000 I just gave to you now. Don't try it. Bring out the money. Don't make me have to call the police on you. Edison. Such a... Oh, okay, okay, wait, wait, I'll bring the money. Look, 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 look. Now you have the money. And the money here, I'll buy a book. Hey! I'll put such a name. Steve! Huh? What are you? Huh? You, you will save for me to own. Stop it, give me my money. Don't shut up. I believe this is mine. But sir, you're supposed to balance our 5,000. Uh... Shut your mouth. Huh? Eh? Listen. I have the mind to hand you over to police. But due to one or two reasons, I will not. But let me warn you. If I ever see you around this estate again, you have yourself to blame. And you, Edison. We hired you as a security man. Yet you collude with frosters to, to defraud people of this residence. Eh? This is the end of the road for you. I am going to convene a meeting. To convince everyone to pay you off. Now, both of you, leave my sight. He said you should leave. See, see, see get out! Get, you cost come leave the Get out! Get out! Get out! I said get, get out of this place. I said leave my sight. Jehovah! Jehovah! Which, which is our wizard? Uh, sir, please, can I have my money now? And you, Salome, you have the guts to tell me to give you your money. Look at your life. I warned you that Edison will deceive you, yet use him against me. Every time it's like we're about to have fun, or you and I spend time together, you bring him to disrupt it. Now I don't have any choice than to report you to Casey. Oh, God, please, now, please, you cannot do this to me. Please, I beg you in the name of your children, please, don't, don't report me to Oga Casey. I need my job, and my family needs it too, please. Why are you trying to persuade me not to punish you? Then you have to appeal to my conscience. This lousy old fool has trapped me. No escape for me this time. But what if I allow him to have anything to do with me in case he finds out? He wouldn't even want to marry me again. Ow. You have to start by giving me what I've been asking of you. You know, you rub my back, I rub your back. Do you know the type of crime you committed against Casey? Eh? By taking his name to a spiritualist. Oh my God. Hey! What if he goes mad? No, no. You just have to go. So I'm very, very sorry, eh? It's the situation. It's the situation in my life that made me want to do that. Eh? It's poverty. But, sir, please... Don't report me. Eh, it is me. Oh, I'm begging you. I'm sorry. Salome, have you thought of what Casey and Jennifer will do if they find out that you actually took Casey's name to a spiritualist for him to marry you? Jennifer will not give you a minute of day in that house. Sir, please. Okay, now, fine. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do. Please. I surrender. All right. <laughs> then let's, let's go inside. So this is what you have been keeping away from me, eh? You are very wicked. I must confess that you don't want me to leave you up. Finally, I have nailed this girl, after all her shakara, and all my system can now relax. I knew she would be fantastic. Mm. The lion cannot forget his hunting skill. Is he not me again? Which girl will resist me when I was younger? And this one thought she was smart. Has it not ended? The grasshopper is in the belly of the bird. Thank <laughs> you.
O yüzden kamerin üstüne alalım. Take you to the hospital for your last injection. You mean you left the office to come here to take me to the hospital? Of course, sir. Moreover, I don't have much doing back at the office, and Chris is there to take care of things while I'm gone. You see, I don't know if anyone would be able to take care of my official affairs and my private affairs just like you do. What I've done without you. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for the compliment. No, it's not a compliment. I'm just stating the obvious. What would I do if I lose you? Or maybe you get married. I know you make the man a good wife. Sir. I'm not getting married as long as you're not getting married too. You're the best man and boss I've ever come across. I don't know what I'll do if I lose you. But why is that people don't value what they have till they lose it? Um, I'm sorry sir if I spoke out of tune. I hope I didn't speak out of turn back in Boss's room. I hope I didn't make myself cheap. God. What came over me to have spoken out like that? My mother must be turning in her grave. I, I do not know when you arrived. Jennifer! I appreciate you in every way. And do not think I don't. As it is today, you are all I have. I don't know what I would have done without you. Okay? The memory of my wife is still very fresh in my mind. And that is why I do not want to promise anyone marriage. Okay? See, it will only take time. I will get over it. Okay? Do not leave me, Jennifer. Please. I'm not leaving you. I will always be here, I promise. I Thank accept you. to change your mind. Oh, come on. Thank you very much. Okay. Can we go in? Yeah, okay. Can we go? Um, Salome! I'm going out with the bus. Come and lock up the doors. Baby. How are you? I'm 
You know, Amanda just told me that you're not feeling so strong. I had to rush yeah. to just to come and check on you. You know you're my boo boo kitty. Thank you very much. You know, it's just malaria. Oh. Yeah, I, I know. I've been taking drugs and injection. Hmm. In fact, I'm on my way to the to the hospital for the last injection now. Casey, Casey, I am not happy with you. You know that I am just close by, and you know how close you are to my heart. Hmm. And you could have called me and I would have nursed you. Huh? Very sorry. It's oh. nothing serious, okay? In oh. fact, I'm in good hands, okay? So, no problem. You shouldn't have bothered yourself at all. Oh. Casey, huh? Casey, mm -hmm. if I don't do it for you, who will I? That is why you're my boo boo kitty. Yeah, thank you, <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, Casey, you know what? Why don't mm -hmm. I just take you to the hospital? No, no, no you don't have to bother. Uh, Jennifer here is taking me. So we'll get there from the hospital, we'll go into the office. Uh, okay, okay, okay. You, you know what's going to happen, okay? Huh? When you come back, just holler right, no and problem. I'll be with you, okay? Okay, no problem. Okay, Casey. All right. Okay. Take care. Thank you. Everybody wants to get to attention. No, no, no. Your strategy matters. Everybody wants to get to attention. No, no, no. Your strategy matters. Everybody wants to get to attention. No, no, no. Your strategy matters. Everybody wants to get to attention. What kind of witchy winchy is this? My god, I'm doomed though. I am doomed. I'm sure Jennifer saw me coming out from Ogabob's house. Hey! She's going to use it against me. What will I do now? What happened to me? And the worst is that she didn't even say a word when I was talking to her. Who knows what she has in her mind? Who knows? Who knows? Eh? What do I do now? I don't even understand what's going on. Hey, you see that Ogabo? God will punish you and punish your entire generation. What kind of hot soup is this now? Eh? I'm finished though. This is my only ticket to marriage. Marriage that will better my life. Mm -mm. It will never happen. It will never happen. I'm finished. Someone coming. Everybody wants to get this attention. No, no, your strategy matters. Everybody wants to get this attention. No, 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 your strategy matters. Go. This is not the end of the world. Yes. And mine is not even a do or die affair. I'm, I'm glad you left this guy now. Else you'd have lived to regret it. And what about the damaged image? Everyone saw that when I left Casey, I was getting married. But Juni and I are no more. He's not the man for me. Johnny, I don't understand this line of questioning of yours. What do you mean by what am I doing with my brother-in-law? What should I be doing with him? It's been two years. After your sister's death, she was the only connection between the both of you. Or except that there is something going on. How can you say such a thing? When my sister died, she left behind a four-year-old child. So I had to stay behind to help him take care of the child. What else? Honestly, Johnny, I am really surprised you are asking such a question. Especially for the fact that I have dated you for two good years now and we are talking about marriage. That's it. You are right, marriage. We are talking about marriage. Look, I just want to be sure that I'm not going out with another man's woman. Okay? Look, you really, really need to move out of that house. Or are you planning to get married to your brother-in-law? He made me leave my uncle's house. And my uncle took care of me and loved me. Oh God. I thought Johnny was the man for me. But he doesn't care. He doesn't care about me. All he cares about is his business. Business this, business that. That's all I hear. And it's not as if he gives me any money. He doesn't. I don't need a man. I don't need him. Oh God. And I can't even go back to my mother's house. I can't. My younger ones are occupying the two rooms already. I can't. 
estou sad. Porque eu... Why don't you come back to Casey's house? Yes, I'm sure he will accept you. And I can talk to him. Casey won't object you coming back home. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you. You are such a nice person. I don't know why Casey has refused to see you. But don't worry. I promise. I promise you that when I return back to the house, I will make sure he marries you. Thank you, darling. Oh, you're welcome, darling. I'm just here, okay? Why do you make it sound as if it's a big deal? Hmm? As far as I'm concerned, the memory of my wife is still very fresh in my mind. Amanda here, she's very close to my wife. Very close. And if anything, I've always wanted her to stay so she can take care of my girl. Now that she's back, you're welcome. Thank you very much, Onku. I'm really happy you could accept me back to your house. Thank you, sir. May God bless you. Amen. Thank you. That means both of you will share the room while Salome and Angel stay in the room, right? Okay, no problem, sir. No problem. Thank you. actually miss this house. Hmm. Of course you should. You've been staying with your sister right when you were small, I guess. Yes. Um, I think I moved in with them when I, when I was about 14, 15. <laughs> the funny thing is that I have lived with them for 11 years. Hey, how time flies. <laughs> That's a long time. Yes. Who's there coming? It's me. Jennifer, uh, I'm back from the market. Oh, okay. Then go ahead and make the meal. Like I told you. Alright. Salome. See, Jennifer here is the madam of the house. You need to give her maximum respect. Anything she says in this house goes. Okay? <laughs> Don't worry. 
I will make sure I discuss the marriage issue with Uncle Casey. Ah, he needs to make up his mind already. You know me, I can't wait for you to get married to him and then I'll be the chief bridesmaid. <laughs> yeah, right. I just hope it works out. Amanda has come back to this house to support Jennifer to marry Mayoka. And she would quickly convince Mayoka to marry her. Hey! So I have lost this contest for Mayoka. Who do I go to for help? Is it Eddie? Eddie is a fraud. Oh, Gabo. That one would want to sleep with me again and again, and at the end, nothing good comes out of it. Hey, who would help me? Life is tough. Oh. Since I was exposed along with that prophetess. Salome that usually gives me food has stopped. In fact, I have lost face with everybody in this compound, including Madame Bob too. In a few days, Oga Bob would throw me out. What would happen? Anyway, let me continue fasting and praying and then see what God will do for me. morning go outside that gate buy me cold bottle of moths fast hey come um agatha what do they call you okay okay i know that edison is a very nice person edison is a very good man but when did this one start now if you started today in call take this man and go buy me something jerry <laughs> Maybe I should go and tell Oga Bob you refuse to run his errand. Um, uh, Oga Bob? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Sorry, na, sorry. Uh, Agatha, you should have told me. Oh, oh, oh. So, if I did not mention Oga Bob, you will not run my errand. Uh, Eddie, don't worry. Hmm? Don't worry. You see, very soon, eh? very, very soon. We will know who the first lady of this estate is. My friend, take this now and buy me something. Hey. Oh my my. Edison, you have suffered. Edison, you have suffered. There's nothing you will not see. Look at this one. What do they call her? Agatha. Ah. Oh my my. But Edison, you cost everything that is happening. You cost everything. Well, it's because of Ogabobo. Can you imagine? Me, Edison. Waiting be your walk, Ogana to look my way to pass you. To know whether she go like you, you just they look who no they look you. Now him be your walk. Oh, stop going. Why? I am hungry. Oh, I'm sorry. There's no food cooked in this house. That is why we have to get married soon. See, I don't even mind moving in with you. So you are ready to wed me officially. You know it's not good to be lonely. Absolutely. But see, honey, you have to be patient. 
just in a little bit of time everything will be settled and I will move, to, move together live together forever till you finish are you mad? don't you have any type of home training? Um, okay, but Agatha here said you sent me to buy malt. So that is what I have come to deliver. Is that why you should barge into my house without knocking? And if you want to call my name next time, hmm, please call my name with respect. Uh, uh, don't mind the fool. Come on, give it to me and get out of here. <laughs> oh, my, my. <laughs> Look at you. Look at how useless you have become. What are you dancing for? Hey, hey! Don't worry. Look at you. You can continue to dance this your demonic and satanic song whilst you look for someone else to defraud. But not me. Look at you. Idiot like you. Others are out there making money. They are landlords. They, they have so many investments. You will remain here as a miserable get man for the rest of your life. See, I said it. Fool. Ooh! Are you better than me? Are you better than me? House girl wants to become madam. Look at her. See, let me tell you. No amount of miracle that will help you with that. If you like, go to Mount Olive. Go to Mount Horeb. Go to Mountain of Fire. Go to Assemblies of God. Go to Redeem. Go to... Call it. Go to wherever you want. But let me tell you, eh? Look at you. 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 Get to call it. Shut up, Look at you. If you like. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. You look like a big goat as you're saying all those words. You think everybody has not found out who you are? The entire estate, everybody now knows that you are fraudulent. Very, very soon, they will bundle your miserable ass out of this place and you'll be homeless. I will see how you open your mouth and talk to me again. It's yours. Come on, I'm married, Oga Casey. Let me see. <laughs> Come on, I'm married, Oga Casey. Let me see. See, let me tell you, eh? Very soon, I will tell Oga Casey that he wanted to use his name for rituals. Yes. I will also tell him that you wanted to give him love potion. <laughs> but you have failed. Oh, you have failed. Oh. Hey, please go away. Will you shut up that your mouth? Who has failed? If you like, you tell him, do whatever you deem fit. I don't care. I will tell other cases that you want to sleep. In fact, you wanted to rape me. But I refused. I pushed you away because I'm stronger than you are. Yes, I will tell him that. He will not believe you. Anyways, why am I even wasting my time talking to a fool like you when I know that I am far better? Take a very good look at me. Yes, look at me from head to toe. And you will know that I am not your class. I am not your type. Yes, I am a degree holder. Very soon, I will leave this estate for you people with all this rubbish you are doing here. I will go out there and better my life with my certificate. When you remain here as a useless get man that you are, oh, no leave, no transfer. It's yours. I'm not here. And listen, listen. See. I am very hot and fast, you know. I am very, very hot and fast. If you try as much as talk to me anyhow again, I will get very physical with you. Very, very physical. I will get physical with you. I will get physical with you. You don't know me very well. You don't know that I'm a very crazy person. If you try, shut up your mouth. If you try as much as try to talk to me anyhow again, I will get physical and I will deal with you. People are going to say, shut up your mouth. Will you shut that your smelly mouth? Idiot. Foolish man. You have to nothing. You have to nothing. Come on, get out.
How are you, my dear? I'm fine, thank you. I came to your house the other day to greet you. Oh, but Mr. Bob told me that. Oh yes, I I fully said I was going to see you. Oh. oh, my dear, I really need to talk with you. You remember the last discussion we had about you getting married to Casey? I believe Casey is the man God has chosen for you. Yes. Wow. I did not look at it like that. Because I don't expect you to see it that way. Listen. Tradition allows it. Hmm? He is your husband. And come on, you fit him perfectly well. An angel in that house is as good as your daughter because she has your blood. Okay. I know there are so many eyes on Casey. Hmm? Especially that Sharon of a girl. Mm, and the secretary. Though the secretary is a nice girl, but you have to move in very fast before Casey makes up his mind. Think about it. Think about it, okay? Thank you. All right. Good day, uh -huh. Edison, how are you? Uh, Madam, I'm fine, thank you. Hey, come, come, come. Edison. Um. I hope you have sorted out your differences with Salome. Hey. Yes, Madam, I did do. But you know, she's still angry. Wait a minute. I have been thinking of what Madame Pamela just told me. And she's not the only one saying the same thing. Um, what do you think, Salome? Please advise me like your sister. Abasi. Amanda wants to join the race too. Say something. Well, she made a point with what she said. But you know you have been the one encouraging Jennifer how to win Oga's heart. And you have also spoken to Oga about Jennifer. So how would you feel if she finds out that you're also in the race for Oga? How would you explain it to her? And on the other hand is Sharon. Remember Sharon bought you clothes just to buy your heart for you to help her win Oga's heart too. So, uh, all this situation around you, how do you intend to solve them? I beg, forget that one. Forget that one. Wait now, Amanda, you are... Wait a minute. I have been thinking of what Madame Pamela just told me. And she's not the only one saying the same thing. What do you think, Salome? Please advise me like your sister. Abasi. Amanda wants to join the race too. Say something. Well, she made a point with what she said. But you know you have been the one encouraging Jennifer how to win Oga's heart. And you have also spoken to Oga about Jennifer. So how would you feel if she finds out that you're also in the race for Oga? How would you explain it to her? And on the other hand is Sharon. Remember Sharon bought you clothes just to buy your heart for you to help her win Oga's heart too. So, uh, all this situation around you, how do you intend to solve them? I beg, forget that one. Forget that one. Wait now, Amanda, are you angry? It's expected of, huh? Of course, things like that take time to heal, okay? Just continue trying, alright? Yeah, uh, madam. Madam, that, that's why I, I, I've thought about this one. And I said, let me just share with you. Madam, I, I want to leave this estate. Uh, yes, because it's better for me to leave. Uh, you see, I can't continue being here. Everybody is just seeing me as a 419er. Edison, it's only my husband and Salome that knows. No one else. Yes, madam. But all the same, I, I, just, I, just, want to, I just want to go. Yeah? But, madam, you know, you're, you're a very nice woman. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. Thank you, madam. And that is why I said to myself, Oh, Edison, Edison, you cannot see a good thing happening to this woman that has been so nice to this good woman. And then a keep bad quiet. thing, you mean? Yes, madam, sorry. You know, sometimes, eh, my brain, madam, I said, I cannot see a bad thing happening to you because you're such a nice person. And then I will just keep quiet. So I said, Let me tell you this. Tell me what? <laughs> madam, uh -huh. hey. 
Madame, you will not believe. What is it? Oh, my, my. Madame. Hey, Madame, do you know that? Why I told you to forget Sharon is that Sharon is my least problem. Mm. It's the one inside Jennifer that is my problem. Hey, like you said, I have been supporting her. Mm. Look, everyone is onto themselves. Me, I want to get married. And Uncle Casey is my kind of man. I have to think of what to do. Oh, yes, yes. Everybody wants to get this attention. Oh, no, no. Your strategy matters. Everybody wants to get this attention. Oh, no, no. Your strategy matters. Everybody wants to get this attention. Oh, no, no. Your strategy matters. Everybody wants to get this attention. Oh, no, no. Your strategy matters. Whether or not you go love him, I don't care. Whether or not you go marry him, I don't care. Everybody wants to get this attention. Oh, no, no. Your strategy matters. I am ready to give you my best. Staying in this house doesn't give me joy anymore because there is nothing to hope for. All my hopes of being Oga Casey's wife are dashed. There is also this problem of Edison's stress to expose me before everyone. Hmm. What do I do now? Even if I am leaving, I must take my revenge on this Oga Bob. I will not leave him to eat my apple and go free just like that. I will not. Nice. Salome! Salome! I'm, please, can you get me my phone? Somebody. Who are you and what are you doing in my house? I should be the one asking you that question. Because I am the woman of this house. <laughs> Bob! Oh! You never told me you have married another woman, right? Pamela, I didn't know you were around. My wife, Agatha, please, you better start going. What? You said you're not married, and and you were telling me that we're going to get married. What? What? Come and what is that? How dare you get around on that day? You just come here to appear. Thank <laughs> you. 
Please help me. Give help me with something. Let me cover my body and beg you. Why are you naked? Now you want his hustle. What do you want his hustle? What did she do to you? Now you want his hustle. Hey, what did you do to her? Hey, Ogabo, Ogabo did not tell me that he's married. He didn't say anything like that. We're even planning to get married. So you wanted to marry an old man? Hey, you are crazy. You are not ashamed of yourself. Hey, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. Hey, please take. Hey, hold on. 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 Hey, hold
people are beginning to ask questions about your remarrying. It's been over three years already, and it's not proper. I really think you should decide about getting married. Okay. If I decide about getting married today, hmm, am I not supposed to look for a wife? How can you say you are looking for a wife when you have Sharon and Jennifer waiting for you? You can choose between both of them. Yeah, yeah. I know both of them are waiting for me. And they are very, very wonderful people. Do you have any other option? Uh, what about me? Would you like to marry me? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Are you pulling my legs or what? No. I have always loved you ever since I was a little kid. And I love the way you took care of my sister. You are my kind of man. Would you like to marry me? Amanda. Well, good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Excuse me. Okay, see you. There's a problem. What's the issue? What's the problem? Amanda, any problem? How did this question go? We were making progress before Mr. Pop came in. <laughs> the man can't go back to his house because his wife locked him out. That man, that man needs to be locked inside the toilet. <laughs> but. Is that why you leave this girl? We are actually making progress before he came in. Well, anyway, we'll discuss it later. Come on, cheer up. We all live in the same house, so you can always bring up this topic whenever. That's true. What are you doing? Yeah, who is it? This is my Casey. Oh, Casey. Welcome. Casey, what is he doing here? Casey, you are a young man. A young, decent man. You shouldn't be seen with a man like this. Oh, come on now. Come on, it's not like that. Where did he sleep last night? Um, he slept at my place. Hey, where is this? He went inside Ogabov's house with him. He said you should meet him outside. Oh, okay. And um, I also need to go out and buy detergent. I have to wash some of his dirty outfits. Oh, yeah. Uh, here. Buy the much you need for now. On my way back from work, I will go to the supermarket and get some stuff. Okay. And we can also have them. You also need them to be washed? Not really. It's for you. Um, I saw your outfit lately and I thought maybe you need an upgrade. For me? Yeah. Hey, Jennifer. Hold this for me. You know, seven color shoes. God bless you. God bless you. I appreciate it. God bless you. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Thank 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 you. Look at what she gave to me, yeah? I think she's the best amongst all these Moses girls that used to come to this house. Chai. 
De repente, aí vou apertar foi e o... Já não colou. And that's why we actually came to see you. Huh? First, I appreciate you for letting me in. Okay? And I, res I thank you for that respect. Still standing on the respect, um, I want to appeal to you to please forgive Bros. Okay? He explained to me what happened yesterday. And I blamed him for it. I blamed him for it. Um, I'm sure... His contract now, and I'm sure it will not happen again. It won't. All I ask right now is for you to allow him in the house. So that broken fence will be mended. Please. I'm sorry, this man will never change. All he thinks about is going in between women's legs every minute of the day why he hasn't satisfied the one with him at home <sighs> honestly i don't know if it's a curse or something Alan, i will change i promise it is just the handwork of the devil you are the devil and that devil lives in you and that means you are not going to change i'm so disappointed in you aren't you ashamed casey a man younger than you are is not the one teaching you how to live your life. <sighs> anyway, Casey, I've heard all that you said. Yes, ma'am. He can come in. On one condition. Tell him to stay out of me. He should avoid me. I don't want him near me because if he does, I will break his head. Oh, madam. This man stinks. Hush! <laughs> I'm sorry, Casey, you can see I was on my way out when you people came in. Okay, okay. All right. Have, have a nice day. Thank you. Right. Don't worry, ma. He will soon be out. Good morning, ma. Hi, morning. Good morning. I don't just know. I believe he's advising him. You know that man? He loves women too much. Salome! Salome, how are you, my darling? Fine. Okay, I'll see you later, okay? Alright. Well, fuck up. At least she has agreed for you to come in. Just take it easy, alright? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think everything is okay. You just relax. Everything will be fine. I have to go off right now. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you. Very Office. Much. Go bless you. Oh. Talking about Gabob and women, I saw the other day sneaking out of his house when his wife wasn't around. Are you one of his girlfriends? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not so you should not date men, no. Wait for me, are you? I'd rather date a single man. I might end up getting married to him. Just an advice, though. Oh. Here he comes. Oh yeah, sorry for keeping with you. Yeah, we need to pick up the car at the mechanics. Let's go. Hmm. So Jennifer actually saw me that day coming out from Oga Bob's house. She knows what transpired, but she kept quiet. She didn't want to use it against me. Look at the clothes and the shoes she even gave to me. She's really a nice person. Better than Amanda, honestly. to start to you, okay? I was wondering why you were standing here. Hope all is well. 
Oh, all is well. Mm. Just that Jennifer was waiting for my yoga. Mm. He went to see yoga Bob. Hmm. Is it about what happened yesterday? He heard about it? Oh, of course. Edison told me. In fact, Mr. Bob is such a useless man. I mean, how can he be behaving like a schoolboy? <laughs> no wonder. He's been looking at me like he wants to devour me. Like he wants to eat me alive. He's such a useless man. I'm telling you. You didn't go to work today? Uh, I'm on a short break. Huh? Uh -huh. oh, Sharon. Yes, my dear. I know you love my yoga. <laughs> but I must tell you the truth. <laughs> Jennifer and Amanda are serious contestants. Initially, it was Amanda that was putting in words for my yoga to love Jennifer. But now she is doing it for herself. And unfortunately, Jennifer does not even know that Amanda has joined the race for my yoga too. So I am telling you this so that you can tread carefully. Excuse me. Hmm? Oh, this reminds me while we were coughing. Hmm? What now? I I don't even want to eat this food. I mean, I don't like it. I don't want to eat it. Darling, please, eat the food. I made it for you. It's your favorite. I would have told you I've changed. Please. Huh? Anyway, I'll just manage it because I don't like wasting food, you know. I know. Uh -huh. That's the reason why I'm taking it. Even I don't even like it. But that doesn't mean I'm forgiving you. I've not. Just one second. Darling, please eat. Huh? I have given you my words. I have changed. Please eat the food. Huh? All things have passed away. This is a new dawn. Mm.
Touch me. Okay, let's go inside the bedroom and sleep. Why don't you go and bring that Abasha girl to sleep with? Come on, Samela. Huh? How long are you going to go on like this? Let's drop this whole thing behind us. Huh? How long will you continue to punish me before you're satisfied? Problem? No, there's no problem. Please, where is Amanda? She's in the bedroom. Why? There is nothing actually. It's just that um, there's a small talk I would want to have with you. I don't know if you're in the right mood now. <laughs> wow. For you to have come all this way to talk to me, I guess it's something important. So go ahead. Well, the truth is that, Jennifer, I like you a lot. You're a very nice person. You're not just nice, but you have a wonderful heart. Above all, you're hardworking. In fact, the truth is that I admire you so much from the depth of my heart. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. And... Most importantly, I know you have worked with my Oka for long now, and you love him. He loves you too. And Amanda is supposed to be the one putting in words for my Oka to marry you. But the truth is that, that was before. Not anymore. As a matter of fact, 
she is busy lobbying and presenting herself and not you. I, I am telling you this because I know how nice you are. If I hide it, God will punish me. Please, my dear. You really need to know. That's why I'm saying it. Sorry if I distracted you from what you were doing. Um, Jennifer, I'll be right back. This is the best time to conclude your matter with Oka Kisi. Amanda, you didn't even know when you came in. Any problem? I'm fine. Okay. I'm here to conclude the matter of two days ago. Uncle, you said that I look like your late wife. Very well. But do you just see me as your late wife's sister? A reminder of your loving wife? What do you think of me as a person apart from my sister? Am I not good as a wife? Amanda, to tell you the truth, hmm? I do not want to see any other person except your late sister. But when I look at you, I see, I, I see her in you. You look so much like her. So sometimes when I when I just look at you, you see the feelings just keep flooding all over me. And that's why I don't know. Anytime I see you. While you were trying to put in a word for me. Yes. Um, Jennifer, you are right. But the truth is that I have been trying to convince Uncle Casey about you. But each time I bring up this topic, he, he tells me that it is me he wants and not you. He says I remind him of my late sister. I did not know how to tell you, so I don't hurt your feelings. You should have told me all the same. Considering how close we are. Come on. Listen, I am not desperate. Okay? I get attention from different men every day. Yes, I like and love my boss. Yes. But you are the same person who talked me into this mind of a thing. Come on, girl. You should have told me you came back all the way. Just get my to him. I would have supported you. Yes. I would have. Well, I decided to tell you that tonight, after speaking to him. But even when I went to his room, he wouldn't let me speak. He, he, he just wanted to kiss me and he was just all over me. Honestly, I tried to resist. But that was when you came in. But 
This is how it is now. You don't have to be sorry. Okay? And I don't need your apologies. Has Edison warmed the car? Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. Um, excuse me, sir. Yes? So there's something I wanted to discuss with you. Okay. And I didn't want to talk about it in the house, no, in the office, because anyone who gets to the office will be very busy. Yes. <sighs> sir, I'll be leaving the day after tomorrow. I want to go see my brother. And I might not come back. But even if I do, that will be to pick up my things. Why? I don't understand. So I just said I should tell you. And also thank you for everything you've done for me. I'm so grateful. But I don't think I can stay anymore. I don't understand. Alright, let's go. Good day, Mr. Bob. Is my wife gone? I didn't send for you. You don't need to send for me. I brought this for you to see. Pregnancy test. I am pregnant for you. So? How is that supposed to be my business? Which one is so? What do you mean by how is that your business? You know you got me pregnant. I am here for us to decide what you want to do with it. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, Salome. So, after sleeping around, yes. now you want to hook me up with pregnancy. You got the wrong person. It's not going to work. Try next door. Myself? Sleeping around? Maybe you would want to listen to one of your love-making commentaries. Then, you would tell your wife whether she is the one or myself. Oh, 
sallow, my sallow, sallow. I didn't know you are sweet like this. So sweet. I love what you are doing. Ah. <laughs> this girl will kill me. Oh. <laughs> Rubbish. <sighs> Salome, please, I'm so sorry for speaking to you roughly. Okay? Don't let my don't let my wife hear or see this. Please. Because we just reconcile. And if she knows, certainly she will leave me. Mm. Please. Now you're pleading with your stupid boy hair. Eh? I've always known that you were a slimy cheating bastard that can never be trusted. That was why I took precaution. Listen, let me tell you. I am ready to quit this job. Like I want to leave this vicinity any moment from now. And listen, you have to come up with the sum of 200,000 naira and give to me before the weekend. Do you understand? I don't want to repeat myself. Like, I do not want to repeat myself. Have you heard? What we'll try you? Rubbish. Jennifer has gone. Gone? How? Gone where? Three days ago, she told me she was going to visit her brother. That she may not come back. And I, I said I was going to discuss with her. So, so to ask her why. I was so busy. So busy in the office. I, I, I forgot. And she left. Ever since she hasn't come back. I noticed her corner was empty. I actually thought she just packed her things and put them in the wardrobe. But now that you are saying this, that means she actually left. Oh, Uncle, what happened? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. Has she discussed anything with you? No. No. Except that she told me she was ready for marriage and her boyfriend was ready to settle down. And she also told me she did not know how to tell you. Maybe she has gone to be with a man. Who knows? Oh my god. You should have told me now. She should have just told me the truth. She should have told me. She, 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 she should have just told me the truth. Yeah? Oh, Sharon. Yes, I'm at home. Don't worry, I'll meet you shortly. Okay. No wonder. She should have told me. Yes, she should have told me. She has to come back. She has to come back. No, she has to come back. She has to come back. You think that he loves her? I'm here thanking God that Jennifer's leaving is to my own advantage. I must do something new. What? What? Why is that someone calling him again? Your call sounded urgent. Anything, Mother? No, 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 no. It wasn't that urgent. <laughs> Since you've uh, formed the world around you, it's pretty difficult getting to you. Well, what do you mean? First, it was your secretary. Now, it's your sister-in-law. In fact, she doesn't want to see my foot close to your house. She said you instructed that you shouldn't be disturbed. <laughs> no, no. Now, uh, anyway, sorry about that. I did not leave such instruction, okay? Um, why did you call me over? Oh, please sit down, please sit down. Okay. 
Casey. I tried my best to show my intentions towards you, but all to no avail. You kept telling me that the memory of your wife still lingers, and you have someone that reminds you of your wife, your sister-in-law. I know I do not stand a chance in your life, Casey. That is why I took the chance to travel abroad. You're traveling? Yes. My office is sending me to our company's headquarters. I'm going there to study for a course. As it is, my one-time boyfriend who has been asking for my hand in marriage is over there. I told him and he's pretty excited about my coming. So I may not come back. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm happy for you. I'm really, really happy for you. Nice one. Nice one. Um, Casey. Yes. I want to ask you for a favor. And I hope you, ab you oblige me. Casey, please. I just want you to spend the whole of the day with me. I will really appreciate it and will always remember this. Huh? I can bet my last penny that there is nothing wrong with Angel. <laughs> Amanda thinks she's smart. Anyway, my mind is off Casey. My mind is on USA. I can't wait to leave Nigeria. <laughs> I have never seen anything like this. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check with you. Yeah. How may I help you? Um, I'm here to see your couple. Oh, I hope all is well. My yoga said I should check if he's in. Oh, okay. Uh, tell him I'm coming to see him. Uh, how is Angel, my dear? She's very fine. Huh? Come, come, come on. Let me go and shake my cookie. Hmm? Uh, yeah. I am here for my money. Or should I tell her? Please, I beg you. Give me a little more time. I'm not here to look at your ugly face. I'm only giving you two more days. Two more days and not one minute more. I am not smiling. Where is she? Where is she? Angel! Amanda, where is she? Where is Angel? Talk to me! I'm Casey. Don't worry. Angel is fine. I just wanted you to come back to the house. What did you just say? I'm kissing. You and I know that all Sharon wants is to get married to you. And I don't want to give her that chance. Please, don't get offended.
Uh, honestly, sir, I I'm really confused here. You know, I have not really given it the thoughts or maybe see see it as, as an issue. You know, until Amanda came back. You know, I've been seeing the issue as uh, you know not too serious and all that. Until she begin to be very very pushy, I uh, want try to make me commit myself to her. Uh, confused, but I I I need advice. Mm, Casey. It is only a man that knows what he wants from a woman. So it boils down to your opinion. But let me help by making assessments. Among the four of them, what do you think of each? Four of them? Huh. Your house help, Salome, is a contestant, in case you don't know. Now you know. Um, as for that, I have not actually given it a thought in that direction. Yes. Um, starting with Sharon. Sharon is a nice girl. She's fun to be with. Um, she has been helpful all the while. But anyway, she's out of my hands now because uh, she'll be traveling out of the country in a few days. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Let her go and try her luck elsewhere. At least we two over here we we'll have our peace. And, um, talking about Jennifer? Jennifer, she's cool. She's cool. An intelligent girl. Very efficient in whatever she does. She helps me in my, in my, with my office work and even at home. You know, she has been very, very helpful. She's, she's, she's okay. That's for Jennifer. And, um, what about Amanda? Amanda? Amanda, she's family. Yeah. I, I, I see Amanda like my wife. Because she reminds me of my wife anytime I see her. Good. Yeah, and uh, even my, my, my baby, my girl sees her like a mother. Good. You know, so they have this synergy. It's just, just, it's just there. But she's not as uh, intelligent. Serious like Jennifer. Um, Casey, have you tested them? What? That also is very vital because at the end of the day, it is going to help you to make the right type of decision. You have a dirty mind. Shameless man. Look at what you're telling him. Huh? I'm sure if you were in Casey's shoes, you would have been sleeping with all those girls, promising them marriage. What is wrong with you? Casey. I thought we were just discussing. Uh, of course we are. Uh, Uncle Bob, Uncle Bob, where are you going now? Let him go! This man is so useless and misconduct! Let him go! He has nothing to offer you. I just need general advice. You know, he's like a father to me. Listen to me. Just listen attentively. Ah, uh, okay. I suggest you take Amanda. Yes. Amanda is your late wife's junior sister. She's your baby's blood. She can take care of Angel more than every other woman. My dear, build your home with Amanda. Thank God Sharon has gone. Jennifer has also left. Please. Madam, you, you're making real sense. You're right. You're right. You're right. You really, uh, you've helped me on this. Thank you. Welcome, very my dear. Thank you. Don't worry, okay? Thank All you the best. Yeah. All the best. Amanda! Amanda! Yes? Oh my goodness. Come away, come away, come away. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! <laughs> you look so beautiful! This is me. Mm. You know what's happening? I've decided about something. But now, I have made up my mind. <laughs> about what? <laughs> Let me tell you. Yeah. You see, I just want to tell you. Hello. Oh. Good evening, everyone. Sharon, how are you? I'm trying to put on the disability. No, no, nothing, nothing. Amanda, how are you? I'm good. Yeah. Excuse me. All right, all right. Um, Casey. I'm good. I just came to see how Angel is doing. Oh, very nice of you. Always very caring. Hmm? Angel is doing fine. 
อืมชอบชอบจะไปเป็นเธอครับ I finished moving out from my apartment. I'm at my sister's. I've dropped my car with them. Okay. I came to say goodbye. Person, I will miss you. I will miss you, and I know Angel will also miss you too. You've been a very, very good person. You've been very good to us, helpful, very caring, very wonderful person. I hope you find peace and happiness where you're going. Casey, I need to discuss something with you. I want to advise you on something. Can I? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Okay, Casey, you need to move on. You need to move on. You need to forget about your late wife. She's gone. Casey, you need a wife. Angel needs a motherly figure. And guess what? If you ask me, your secretary is the best person for this job. Really? I like her, and I know she loves you so much. Taking care of your office and home. Look, having a wife that takes care of your things enables you to live a long life. Casey, your wife is dead and gone. You don't need anything that will remind you of her, and that takes me to Amanda. She's not your wife. She's just an emotional blackmail. I don't understand. Casey, she's here because of your late wife. She is not your wife. If she were to be your wife, why did she consider marrying another person? And when that failed, she came back running to you. No, your wife is your secretary, Jennifer. She loves you so much, and she loves Angel. That is the most important thing. Your secretary is your wife. Yes. Casey. Jennifer is your wife. <laughs> Goodbye. How was it, mate? It was good. How was yours? Beautiful, good, nice. A beautiful morning. Mm. There's something I would like to discuss with you. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate that you've taken me in and have taken care of me like a sister to you by giving me all the encouragement one would give to his sister. Thank you very much, Uncle. I really appreciate. It. Amanda. No matter, there's no need to recount all this. Hmm? I did, and I will still do what your sister would have done for you. Okay? So, why bring this up now? Uncle, the issue here is that I need to move on. You have your life to live, and so do I. I need to go back to my parents' house. 
It's been over two years my sister died and I have taken care of Angel to this point. Please, I really need to move on. Oh. Amanda, you are part of this family. You are family. Amanda, you are the only one I have now. Why leave me now? Eh? You have always lived with us. Yes, your sister was my wife before she died. But, and you have always lived with us all our lives. Why leave now? Well, why this decision? Why? Oh, I'm really sorry. But I need to move on. I need to go and get married. Johnny is waiting. Oh, okay, uh, Amanda, please. For the love of your sister's child, Angel. And the love you have for me, except you never had any for me. Please, you just stay for a while before you leave. Please, if you have to go. That means I can't change your mind. Hmm? between you and Johnny. Why did you leave him? He's more mature like you. He wasn't as caring as you were to my sister, even to me. I have realized that it's a someone like you I need as a husband. of nothing but you. My teenage love for you, even when you were married to my sister, has come flooding over me all over again. I love you, Casey. I love you. Please don't leave me. Um, Amanda. Amanda, I love you right now just the way I love your little sister. Hmm? But we need to take it easy so that we will not make mistakes. Now, I want you to go to your room and sleep. Okay? Okay, um, okay. There was something you wanted to tell me before Sharon came in. Oh, yes, yes. yes. I'll do that tomorrow. Okay? You just go to sleep. Just, I'm about to work on my laptop. Is that okay? With 
the way I'm feeling. I wanted to sleep in your arms. Oh, it seems like you are busy. I'll leave it to work. Don't worry. I'll see you later, okay? Amanda. She's been vomiting all day. I don't know. What's wrong with her? I don't know, sir. Where is she now? Okay. And you are looking like that. Go and open the gate. Okay, me. my money where is my money salome please i beg you in the name of god that created you and i i do not have two hundred thousand dollars that you asked for eh? please uh, eh? <laughs> i know i took advantage of you when i was stupid oh but please find in your heart to forgive me i beg you okay. thank god you I'm used sorry. the word stupid because you are still very very stupid no, that's not with stand, you know, no. Because me, I do not understand what you're talking about at all. You don't have to ordinary 200,000 naira to give to me. To go somewhere else and better my life. Very fine. But I have one good news for you. My brother, you have entered. You hear? You have really, really entered. Huh? Because I am going in there to pack my loads to come to your house. Huh? You will marry both your wife and myself. Salome, please don't do it. You want to break my marriage. What's marriage? What's not marriage? Now you know you have a family, now you are cheating outside. Let's go, let's go. Don't, don't even talk. Oh. You have done it. Ah. I, I will not come and leave it you. And you will continue to do it. You have entered. I'm telling you. I'm coming back for you. Hey. What do you mean by that? I'm 
Salome has finished me. What will I tell my wife? Hi! How will she handle this? I'm finished. What are you looking at? You stupid moron. Bastard. taking your calls. That's so unusual of you. Get up, just get up, get up. I know you love Casey and I know he also loves you. But if he made a mistake by calling you consistently, I think he has realized that mistake and that's why he's calling now to apologize. I don't see a reason why you would judge a man without giving him a fair hearing. You should have at least given him a fair hearing before judging him. At least that would help end this whole emotional pain. Are you tired of my story? On the contrary, if I had my way. I want you to move him, move him back with me when the house is ready. But what good would that be doing to you? As your elder brother, I want you to get married. See you, see you later. you are pregnant for Johnny, what do you tend to do? Uh, don't you think it's necessary you call him? I don't want to go back to him. I want to stay with you and get married to you. Amanda, you know that is not possible. It's not possible? What about the baby? I, I don't want it. I don't want it. I can remove it. It, it, it is you that I want to get married soon, and I know you love me. Amanda. Amanda, I love you like a sister. Huh? And you, my late wife's sister is also my sister. I, I, I love you. You, you, you. you remind me of my late wife every time I see you. Oh, I need to move on. It's been two years. I just need to move on. Amanda, the love I have for you is not the love of a wife. Okay? Okay. Please, please, don't do this to me. I beg you, please. Please, don't do this to me. I am not doing anything to you, Amanda. Okay, now, uh, Amanda, remember the time I begged you to stay? I begged you. But, but, you, but you chose to leave. And you left. Why is it important to you you stay right now? 
Hmm? Amanda, give me Johnny's number. I need to call him. You're welcome, Chief. Uh, Johnny, you're welcome. You're welcome to my house. Thank you, Kilichi. Thank you for inviting us to your house. You see, you treat my mother as a test. John brought Amanda to me to introduce her as the woman he wants to marry. And I give them my blessing. I advise them also to keep studying themselves while I do my own observation. After a while, I asked after Amanda from John. He told me that she has gone to visit her people. And since that time, I have not really set my eyes on Amanda until he came to tell me that she is pregnant for him. And I told him, let us go ahead to plan for the marriage proper. He told me no, that they have some problems of which I don't know. And I became so shocked about it. Even up to this moment, I don't know the problem between two of them. I think they are in the right position to really tell us the problem they have. Now that they are here. You're right, you're right. Uh, thank you, Chief. Amanda. What's the problem? Johnny and I have been courting for four years. Some time ago, he started pressurizing me to leave my uncle's house and go to my parents' house. And I did. But immediately I left there. He stopped calling. And I hardly saw him. He wouldn't even let me go out, even when he knew I had needs. He kept monitoring my every move, but would not give me any attention. So I had to come back here. Amanda. Amanda, look. I'm very, very sorry. Please. The time in question you talk about was when I had issues with my businesses. And I was busy tidying up things. I promise I'll make amends. Okay, please. Amanda, did you hear that? He has just apologized. Hmm? Now that the grey areas has been settled. So, mm -hmm. yeah. where do we go from here? Um, the lady says it's dangerous. Uh, let us go and see her parents and plan ahead for the wedding proper. I think that should be the next you should Beautiful, beautiful. Um, what do you say? It's all right. Fine. Um, and uh, let me tell you, you have to take very good care of her. You shall have to be here. Of course, of course. Thank you very much. Thanks so very much. Jennifer have any number apart from the one that ends with zero zero? Hmm? 
I don't know. Did you just see? Did you just see? You don't want that in my head. You go to ask her back. Oh God, oh God, oh. My dear, you don't have to shout or feel bad. This baby might be the next president of Nigeria. I don't want the president of Nigeria. I don't want the president of Nigeria. I don't want the president of Nigeria. They both know. He was just so blessed. Yes, hello? Oh, Daniel. Hey, Daniel, how are you? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Casey, listen, listen. I know you are in love with my sister. I know. But I know there is a problem as well, and she has refused to tell me. Yes, I want to straighten things for her, please. Uh, yeah. Do you know how I, how I can get to her, please? No, she, she's in my hotel room. She's in my hotel room with me. Yeah, go to room 212. You'll find her in room 212. But listen, Casey. I don't want you to hurt my sister again. She's all I've got. Don't hurt her again, please. Come on, I'll be rest assured. I will take care of her. Uh, you don't have a problem, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Daniel. All right. John, uh, one Miss Jennifer Johnson of room 212. Okay, what's your name, sir? My name is Casey, Mr. Casey. Just a minute. All right. Good morning, ma. Yes, one Miss Casey is here to see you. All right, ma. Sorry, sir, he's, she's not available. They told me she's in the room. 212. So sorry, sir. She's not available. Sure, you see? Yeah, I left her at the hotel room. Yes, I'm there right now. They say she's not available. I've been looking. No response. I left her, I left her in the room and she promised not to step out. I think she doesn't want to see me. Okay, calm down. Calm down, it's alright. I'll, I'll talk to her. Okay, okay. All right. Thank you very much. Please, please. I'll talk to her. having pains all over. Maybe it's old age or something. How can you say it is old age? Mm -hmm. This is born out of the fact that you sit too long in your office. Yeah, you think so? I know so. Oh. Oh. I almost forgot. I have so many calls to make. My office secretary. I'll be right back. Well, 
I am here for my money. And if you don't give it to me right now, consider it that I've already packed into your house. Right now! Am I going to say no, 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 no. Don't sit down, please. My wife is in there and she will come out anytime soon. That makes it better. Hey, at least you will introduce me formally to her as your second wife. You are your voice. Please, I beg you, we can talk later. Yeah? Can. Let me see what I can come up with. Please. Don't tell me that rubbish. Please talk later. Don't tell me that rubbish. Don't. Let me see how much I can come up with. Hey, is my mother calling me now? Hello, Amanda. What's up? Now? Alright, I'll be there now. I am leaving, but I will be back very soon. Sooner than you expect. Sooner than you expect. I will soon be back. Ah, good day, my dear. How are you? Did you travel? Where have you been? Yes, I traveled. I went to see my people. That's very thoughtful of you. I hope they are fine. Yes, sir. everyone is fine. Good, good. Um, Jennifer, you may not know, since you came here to stay, I've been observing you, and I think you're such a young, wonderful woman. I've been speaking to Casey concerning you. And I believe he's coming to his senses. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyway, I need you to do me a favor. So what could that be? You see, I'm having some issues with Salome. I need you to intervene on my behalf. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. I will. Okay. I will appreciate that. He's in his room oh. and Amanda has gone back to her family for a professional marriage. Are you serious? Yes, so <laughs> you know you belong you left now. There is cheese. <laughs> sit down, sit down. Sit down. Hey! Ah, beautiful. You know that Amanda really wanted my boss to marry her. She was really pushing and pushing until Sharon came and said no. That Amanda isn't meant for him. That it is you that he should marry. Really? Yes. She said so. She even said more. That girl really likes you. I never knew she liked you up until that day. <laughs> but good thing happened. Someone came to marry her and she relocated to America. You know that my boss really loved you even more than Amanda. And Sean opened his eyes to it. Then we later found out that Amanda got pregnant for one journey. And she was dodging it. But boss found out and told her that she must go back to the journey. She went and got the guy, reconciled the two of them. That is why she has gone back to her father's house. She's preparing for a traditional marriage there. That is her business. I don't care. My happiness now is that you're back. And I believe that you're back for good. You are not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. Uh, my dear, I'm back, Jerry. Mm. And not for Amanda. 
Now let's talk of you. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Are you pregnant? Ah, uh -uh, pregnant. Go for peace. That's an abomination. I am not pregnant. Oh, besides, I'm not married. Why should I be pregnant? Then why are you tormenting Ogabo? Was that what he told you? Hey. Seriously, Jennifer. I don't want to talk. I don't just want to get angry. You see that Ogabo? Ogabo is a very wicked man. Including that stupid git man. These two people dealt with me. I stupidly fell in their trap and they dealt with me. They dealt with me. They really dealt with me. Particularly that useless Ogabob. That is why I have decided to deal with him and give him half a pack. Useless man. Salome. Mm -hmm. Ogabob actually begged me to plead on his behalf. Bikun, eh? Please forgive him. His family is already falling apart. Eh? Please, whatever I did to you, I'm sorry on his behalf. Please forgive him. Seriously. Seriously, Jennifer, it is only you and Oga Casey that would make me change my mind towards what I planned for that useless man. It's only because of the respect I have for you. Because that man really dealt with me. That is why I vowed to deal with him. I decided to frustrate him. I wanted his blood pressure to rise and fall. That is for that is getting in between my legs with 419. Ah! That man is wicked, you. He's very wicked. So he's begging you to come and plead with me. Rubbish man. He doesn't want his family to be torn apart. But he knows how to deceive people. Rubbish. Do? Thank you, eh? Thank you. Please, can you hear me call eh, your boss? No problem. Ah, yes, madam. <laughs> Hey, Good day, boss. My brother actually forced me to come see you. Yes. Jennifer, please do not think I did not appreciate or loved you. Hmm? It's just that I was still suffering from my wife's memories. When you were gone, I realized that I could do very little without you. I miss you. I miss you. Please, don't go. Don't leave me. Jennifer, marry me. Yes. Yes.